Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for December 11th, 2019. So, hey, as we march toward Christmas here, I hope when this video finds you all healthy, well, and fired up and ready for another day of trading. Let's take a look at the market and see what's going on here this morning. Kind of an interesting situation today. We have a uh, futures right now that are a bit mixed. It's, it's something we don't see very often anymore is a mix in futures. So right now we're looking at the Dow looking for a tiny little bit of a gap down, only about 30 points at the moment. Just a little bit of, shall I say, uncertainty about uh, tariffs, trade decisions, um, CPI coming out this morning, um, and FOMC decision. So a little bit of uncertainty out there, and we just have that little tiny mix here in the market. Um, let's talk about this chart overall. Overall, I think we're holding up still significantly well. We haven't really uh, broken down the bears are clearly not in control just yet but we do have those worry items out there to consider we also have this head and shoulders top that could be building in here now who knows if that's actually going to play out to be that head and shoulders top or if we get that tariff decision that is positive in the market reverses up sharply so one of the things i uh, the theme really for today that i'm going to talk about is caution just being careful how much edge do you have in this market when we're waiting for that big news event that event that could really move a sharp sharply higher or sharply lower, depending on what that decision is. So think about that carefully as you plan your risk forward. And as we progress through the rest of this week, if we don't have any uh, decision on those rates, it could be a substantial change in uh, the market on how we uh, deal with this going into the weekend. I know I personally will be moving more and more toward cash the the closer and closer we get to the weekend and the uncertainty of what may occur on that tariff decision this weekend. So trend is still uh, bullish. We're still up in the market, but there is that concern out there to be worried about. Now, um, we could easily crack right through these um, upside resistance levels, really push higher, assuming we get some good decision on trade tariffs. That means trade tariffs being removed or delayed. Market could rally up sharply. If that changes, goes the other direction, however, no trade deal. Um, tariffs going into place, we could certainly see the market move sharply lower. So be careful on how you plan your trades and how much risk you actually have in the market. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY continuing to trend higher, as you can see, holding up in here. We also have that same type of pattern in here, just a little bit lopsided that possible head and shoulders. The difference this morning is we have the S&P 500 trying to move just ever so slightly higher this morning. Right now, as I'm recording this, the uh, ES futures are up $1.25. So we're trying to get a little tiny lift this morning ahead of that CPI number. So let's watch that closely. Now, partially, um, we had another big um, report because of the refinancing and stuff going on with the lower rates, um, a big, a big chunk of mortgage um, applications and things happening out there. So um, that inspired the market to move up just a little teeny tiny bit. But just watch this really closely today. Trends are still good. And once again, we are just going to have to be really careful about um, that potential news event that could move us pretty sharply. Let's take a look at the cues. The old Q's having the best of the world today. Q's looking higher this morning. We're trying to gap up, or at this moment, move higher by about 10 
points in the NASDAQ futures. A little bit of life, a little bit of love in those NASDAQ futures this morning. Once again, there's that pesky little pattern that we have to uh, deal with and kind of determine where this is at. But right now, cues are starting to show a little bit more bullishness uh, than the rest of the market. That could certainly, definitely, all these numbers, everything could definitely change by the time we hit that uh, CPI uh, number this morning they could get sharply bullish they could get sharply bearish um, we could just settle in flat and after the market open I want everyone to kind of consider that we could just slip right back into some consolidation as we wait for the FOMC announcement at 2 p.m. Eastern so although there may be some popping and moving around first thing this morning it could quickly die on the vine as we wait for that FOMC rate decision let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM actually held up positive yesterday, and you can see this morning it's showing just a little bit of positiveness um, here as well, wanting to move just a little higher. So, one thing I have to say about IWM is IWM has done the best job at this point of holding its trend. We're testing this price resistance in the chart, but that possibility that that could push on through um, is a real possibility. So, IWM could actually be a little bit of a leader right now in the market, which seems odd considering it has been so lagging behind. And then as it moves up, we'll want to look for resistance levels in the chart that could affect that price as we move on up. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX yesterday just kind of danced around the flat line, as you can see. If I turn on some drawings here, you guys uh, know that I've been mentioning this price resistance here in the chart. And this travels back a long ways, by the way, that price resistance in the chart. And so far, holding yesterday, we had a little bit of back and forth yesterday, a whipsaw in the market. Uh, based on news and it shows the sensitivity that this market has to tariff news the Wall Street Journal come out and said they uh, were naming unnamed sources or talking about unnamed sources suggesting that the tariffs would be lifted and the market um, rallied making the VIX push down and then shortly after we actually heard from the government saying that is unconfirmed. Um, there is no decision, at least at this point, to remove the tariffs. And we went up. Um, the VIX fired up as the market fell. And then we kind of gained a little um, relaxing um, in the market and we just kind of settled into a range for the rest of the day. And as you can see, we're just dancing around this level of resistance in the chart. Right now, I think that's a pretty good sign um, holding in here fear is kind of holding off or waiting for that decision just know that if that decision happens to be negative for the market this could quickly spike and we'll want to watch that carefully of course if the news is uh, positive for the market we could see this resistance hold and fail on back down here in the VIX. So a lot of back and forth, a lot of decisions to be made, but I would kind of keep an eye on VIX if that fear starts to grow. Let's take a look at a T2122. And I think this is actually positive for the market in the fact that in this little resting consolidation we've had over the last few days, we have pulled back here in our T2122. In fact, we're approaching that mid zone in T2122, which means that we have a significant opportunity for an upside move. So if we do get some kind of good news, we could see this popping to the upside and we have room now to move up with that little resting period that we've had. We, we've avoided being really um, uh, overly bullish in such a short period of time like we were over here. And so that little resting has actually opened up a window for more bullishness to the upside. But also keep in mind we have an equal amount to the downside. So T2122 isn't telling us which way we're going to go. It's telling us that we just have a nice open window to move to either side whether or not that inspiration comes in um, for the market. 
let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today because there is quite a little bit on this calendar that could have a say about how the market reacts today. First off, 8.30 a.m. this morning, we have the CPI number. Right now, CPI number is expected to decline slightly. However, um, if, if it remains within that consensus range, we're probably okay. However, there's a surprise in the CPI that could certainly move the market. So we'll want to keep an eye on that at 8.30. We have the EIA Petroleum Status Report, and as you know, that can move those oil markets around substantially, and that obviously can affect how the market trades. So um, a decline in supplies, we could see um, oil prices gain some support and continuing their little move higher after the OPEC news. If we see a increase in supplies, that could have the opposite effect. Then at 2 p.m. today, the Mac Daddy of the day, the FOMC announcement. We'll want to watch that pretty closely. Now, it's largely expecting nothing is going to happen. As a matter of fact, um, it could turn out to just be a non-event at all. But as you know, it's pretty typical for the market after the morning rush occurs to get kind of slow and stagnant as we wait for that FOMC news. That may not happen today, but it's so common. Um, we should expect the market to get a little soft, choppy and sideways as we wait for that FOMC report. Now, once again, they're expected to just hold the line, um, really not make any changes at all. But of course, anytime they make a change in the FOMC statement, or when the uh, chairman speaks at his pre press conference, if there is a little uh, additional news, a, a little more um, insight into what the market may do, there can always be a little bit of volatility around um, that. So keep that in mind. Let's watch that pretty close as that approaches uh, for today. Um, one of the things we want to consider um, in this market today as you're preparing for this market today is to really consider how much risk you have in this market and, and whether or not you really feel like you have an edge with this big pending news report. That doesn't mean you can't trade. That doesn't mean you can't um, be, in, be involved in the market, but you should really carefully consider how much risk you carry in a market like this when those pending news events can really swing things quickly. Remember, and I want to... Um, um, echo what I did in a, from a little e-learning class last night is to just remember you're not required to trade just because you got up came to your computer um, you don't have to put money at risk you have permission to stand aside and protect your capital rather than jumping into such an uncertain um, situation um, on that news report. So think about that and think about your risk and how much you want to uh, put into this market. Now, certainly if you are an intraday trader, a quick intraday trader, there's plenty of opportunities to be in and out and in and out and make money in the market. But swing and position traders should be very, very careful, particularly as we approach the weekend. If we have no decision on tariffs, think about that risk carefully. If you have profits, might be a good time to start thinking about taking some of those profits, reducing that risk. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that may be setting up. But before we do that, if you guys would do me a favor, if you could... Um, if you find these videos helpful, click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And um, if you find this video worthy, if you find it helpful, if you find it meaningful to you, please do me a favor. Please click that thumbs up button. Leave a brief comment. It helps us continue to grow this channel. And I got to tell you, you guys are just awesome. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, we continue to grow. It's just, it's just awesome. So thank you guys. I, I really, really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up, but let's keep in mind the, the situation that we're dealing with here in the market, um, how we may want to approach the market, um, considering, 
um, the uncertainty that we see. So one of the things that I do when um, I'm looking at market uncertainty, I start looking for the places where traders may go um, during those uncertain events. So one of the places you could look is maybe look at some of the defensive sector stocks. Defensive sector stocks tend to be those stocks that have dividend yields. They're the older companies, the companies that rel have relatively low implied volatility. And as you can see here, Hershey breaking its downtrend, trying to rally here, holding some levels of support in this chart. Hershey trying to set itself up. This nice little pullback could set up an opportunity to move higher. Now, those are the kind of charts that I might be looking for um, if I want to do much trading or holding stocks over these potential news events where I can get a little safety, a little security um, in the, the market. Good potential charts, and there's quite a few of them out there setting up like that, like uh, General Mills. General Mills could be setting up, trying to break through this downtrend, holding as support, and now we're getting this little pullback, consolidating type move that could set up for more upside. So keep an eye on that. Uh, Coca-Cola is another. I've mentioned this one several times. I'm watching this a lot. And by the way, I, I happen to trade Coca-Cola a lot. So if there's a bias here, you know that. But Coca-Cola breaking that downtrend and now pulling back, trying to test whether this is going to hold a support. Now I can't tell you whether it will or it won't, but I want to be watching this in here, particularly thinking about um, the current news environment of the market. If the market starts get, getting a little nervous, that could pop up and we'll want to watch that carefully. If we take a look at some of the utility sectors, um, utilities can be a place um, where you can find some relative security. Um, XLU might be a place to start uh, the utility sector ETF. You can also click in and maybe take a look at individual stocks within that sector. This is one of the great features of TC2000 is just being able to pull up a, a list with one click of those ETFs. And you can see what a beautiful chart here in AES that could be setting up. Um, it could easily be a nice upside move, a dividend player, a place where you might find a little bit of security in an uncertain market. So maybe take a look at something like that. You could also take a look at uh, maybe some bonds. You could take a look at uh, some of the precious metals or miners. Uh, take a look at G-O-L-D. G-O-L-D, Barry Gold, trying to move higher here. You can see breaking this downtrend, rallying back up higher lows, trying to hold this support. We had a little bullish price action in here yesterday, trying to push this up after that pullback. Um, so maybe some of the miners might be a place to look if the market starts to get a little shaky or suspicious. Now, beyond those points, let's take a look at some stocks on the other side of the market that are looking pretty good. UNH, UNH had a really good comeback yesterday. And you guys know I've been talking about this chart for a while, been watching it pretty closely. And this chart could be setting itself up. We're getting very, very close out here to that trend. We responded nicely yesterday, pushing higher. Um, healthcare has been very, very strong in this market. So watch it closely. There is that possibility that UNH will pop on out. When I was watching, and I talked about it a couple, three times yesterday during our live session in Rightway Options, is AXP. AXP has been lagging behind uh, MasterCard, been lagging behind uh, Visa. But AXP trying to turn around and come back up. Now, this isn't ready for prime time yet um, at all. But it is interesting that AXP has, after failing here, recovered handsomely. I mean, really recovered uh, back above this little level of price support. And I should move that a little bit. Really should be right up in here. We've recovered that price support. And as you can see, just kind of dancing sideways here. We get those little attempts to push higher and we can see exactly in this chart 
where that resistance comes into play. So I'm going to take this alert that I've got on this chart and extend it over. And notice that if we were to pop above here, that's where those sellers come in. All of those, the sellers seem to be keying off of that level. So you might want to place an alert on the chart and try to catch that pop through if it happens to move on up. I've actually placed that alert just a little bit closer. What I'm looking for is that chart to pop up just so I can get a little bit of an early warning on that chart if it happens to move on out. And I can't say that it will, but what it's looking for right now is it's, it's trying to hold on to that support it's looking for some buyers here to push it up any bullishness in the market could start moving that higher so let's keep an eye on that it might be one to put on your list take a look at mlnx i've mentioned mlnx several times we keep banging our head against this resistance i can't tell you whether or not it's actually going to make it out of that level but we keep banging our head against that and we're continuing to wind up tighter and tighter in this wedge so watch this close it is entirely possible that we could find that inspiration in here pop out and have a nice upside move here in MLNX it's also possible we can't find the energy and we break down either one of those might be tradable so keep an eye on MLNX uh, for your potential trades um, take a look at this TAL now TAL moved up and now we're getting this nice little resting pullback and that resting pullback may be in an attempt to just gain a little energy before we attack the all-time highs here in the chart now there's not a whole lot of price action between here and there but if you're an option trader there may be plenty if we get that bullish signal in here to make a nice return on that move up into this level so let's watch that closely another one chart that I'm watching kind of closely and this is a very different chart is CGC now CGC popped the, uh, the other day breaking into what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern that's breaking above that 50-day moving average and yesterday we pulled back pretty sharply pulling back to test this area of support now this isn't ready for a trade yet but what we want to do is make sure that we hold that 50-day moving average area as support so it's possible we get this chart maybe pulling this 50-day uh, moving average out and resting right in here and then I would be looking for that next move here in CGC keep an eye on that maybe coming around um, no guarantee of that um, obviously if we fail back below that 50-day moving average if we can't hold support levels in here then uh, we probably have more downside to go in CGC just something to watch and keep an eye on so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day here on this hump day and hope you have have great success in your trading be a little bit careful be a little bit cautious consider your edge very carefully consider how much risk you have in the market with this big news driven event that's still kind of hanging over our head everyone take care have a great day and we'll talk to you all bright and early Thursday morning have a good one everyone